I truly believe that when we are living and connected to our purpose and our truth within us, our lives just magically become so much better and things just really start to work out for us. And we get to help so many other people do the same thing and bring that energy to others. If you're someone who wants to know how to connect to your purpose and your truth, this video is for you and how to really live it too is what we'll go into this video with as well. Hi, I'm Madison. Welcome to my channel. We talk about spirituality and really just how to connect to your inner wisdom and live your best life. And today we're gonna to talk about purpose. The best way to know if something is your purpose is the way you feel. Does that bring you joy? Does it bring you happiness, love? Do you feel like you're expanding, you're evolving, you're growing? Is it helping other people? When you answer yes to those things, that is your purpose. But I want to clear things up a little bit. So purpose can be more than one thing. You don't have to have one purpose in this life. So many things can be your purpose. And that's how we grow and evolve. So at first you might love to create things like art. But then you might get into dancing, into music, and those are all part of your purpose. It's like that same energy of creation. Your purpose is just simply to create. So other people's purposes is just their voice. They might be really good at speaking, so they might create videos, they might do motivational speaking. So it's our purpose is really meant to expand us and have us evolve into that. Um, another thing is when something is truly your purpose, it's going to really come from within your heart. And it's, it might even come out of nowhere, or it might be like an inner knowing of something that you knew you were meant to do your whole life. And you might be wondering, how do I connect to this? Or how do I know if it's coming from within myself? So nowadays, we are influenced by so many things, by people on social media, by our family members, our friends. And someone else might be really excited about something and it makes us want to follow along and do that too. But when something's truly your purpose, it's like you have to switch roles and be more of a leader. You have to go more within yourself because it's something that's really not gonna come from the outside of you. It's gonna be found within yourself. And some practices that I have done to connect to my own purpose is it taking more time in silence and disconnecting from things that are bringing me confusion and really getting to know who I am. A great way to do this is just ask yourself questions. Like remind yourself, what does bring me happiness? What does bring me joy? And what is something that I can actively do to continue that feeling within me, to connect that feeling within me? Because everything we want is really within us. Peace, love, happiness, it's all right here. We just have to connect to it. And that's part of our purpose is just bringing that feeling to other people, but to have it grow inside of you and to know deeper aspects of yourself. So ask yourself questions. And like a question can be, what sets my soul on fire? What am I passionate about? What am I excited for throughout my days? Like, what brings me excitement? What new activities can I try? What am I interested in? What do I want to learn more of? Most likely your passion will be something that you truly want to learn about. It's not going to be something that everyone else is doing. It's going to be something that you like want to create and start and grow from. So try new things, get out there, but also spend time by yourself, spend time in nature to really have that come to you. And you can keep asking yourself, like, what is my purpose? You can ask God, the universe, what is my purpose? And trust whatever comes to you. And that's how you start moving forward, living your purpose, is just starting with what makes me happy. What am I excited about to help others? Um, back to like, I know a lot of people really are influenced by other people. And okay, so my camera died, but I'm back. So um, I was saying back to like the whole influencing thing. 
I would recommend that when you're really trying to connect more to yourself to really get off social media. Now I'm not saying like to completely delete everything or not go in at all. I would say be more mindful when you're on social media. Like if you have your favorite people you love watching and they truly help you and benefit you and you are inspired by them, keep watching them because you're growing from that. If they're bringing you healing, um, just anything that feels good, really watch that. But if you're watching people that are bringing you down or like you're comparing your life to them and you don't know if like, if you just feel like it's not really good for you, really be mindful of who you're following or if you're following a lot of people from your past or pa like ex-friendships or ex-boyfriends. Like unfollow people who really aren't bringing you into alignment or who aren't aligned with who you want to become and where you're going. Um, <sighs> Social media is such a powerful tool and creation that can really be used to express and to learn from the people and really, it's like we have all this information at our fingertips, <laughs> truly. But there's also that same energy within ourselves. And so I think taking a break from social media and just your phone in general is so important when you're on this journey of discovering who you are. And really put yourself out there more, like try new classes, search new things that you're interested about, Take time, like it's okay to say no and have boundaries with other people and to really put yourself first. Um, another thing I wanna talk about too is this happened to me actually in my own life. So sometimes when you get this idea, it finally comes to you, like you're like, holy sh like this is what I'm supposed to do. I know like you have so much clarity and you might start sharing it with other people in your life, like your friends, your family, and I just want you to remember that it's like within you for a reason. It's like a little seed that's growing and it might not make sense to everyone in your life. And people might question you or kind of want to bring you a different direction. Um, it's so important to water that seed, to focus on that seed, <laughs> like that, that inspiration within you and to trust that if you have this idea, this purpose, this kind of mission, it can happen. It can become true, especially if you believe in it. So don't let anyone else question you because they don't see it yet because it's within you. You haven't done all the steps you're about to take. You haven't completed anything yet. You just have a direction and you have a vision. So I've, like, you don't have to over explain yourself to anyone. It's about building that relationship with yourself so deeply and so strong that nothing else is going to get in that way of your purpose and your mission and what you want to do. And I, I bet once you start to succeed and things start to work out for you, people are going to wonder why they even questioned you in the first place. And they're going to be so proud of you. But the reason why people might question or judge is because they can't see the full picture, but you can. And that's why that is your purpose, your, your goal, your mission, your dream. <laughs> It's within you. So it's so important to connect to just the energy within you. And it can never, ever go away from you, ever. It's always just there within you. But now I wanna have a little story time because maybe this can help one of you guys if you're starting your spiritual journey or a healing journey or a self-love journey, whatever you're starting, or just wanting to know your purpose and wanting to live a new life, create a new life for yourself. So flashback to when I was like, 17 years old, 18 years old, it was, I graduated high school at 17. I was like one of the youngest in my class. And I felt like everyone knew what they wanted to do, but I had no idea what I wanted to do. But it's like, I had this feeling within me that I knew I was meant to help the world in a big way. And I knew, I, I knew there was a purpose for me. I knew it. And there was a feeling within me that I knew if I was to travel or to try new things that it would just happen. I always looked up to people on YouTube and like social media and things, but I knew I wanted something differently and I knew there was something important. But a few months, like summer after graduation, my mom, she really wanted me to go to school or to really like do something. But like within me, I knew there was something I was meant to kind of discover within myself to then pursue it. But she's like, no, you need to do something right now. Like the school year's starting, blah, 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 blah. So, this is how I was kind of influenced. Um, 
I was working at a breakfast place, so I was a host, and my coworker, we were really close for like a year and a half, and she was going to beauty school, cosmetology school, she was gonna do hair, and she made it sound so fun, and she was so excited about it, that that's something I mentioned to my mom, and then <laughs> my mom literally signed me up for the cosmetology school, so I remember when that happened, I was kind of mad at her, like I was like, why would you sign me up to something I told you I'm kind of interested in, but I'm still thinking about it. But she, it's like within her, she's wanted me to succeed and she wanted me to be happy. So that's why she probably signed me up for that. But I did the program because like I can see my parents are really happy about it and I didn't want to just disappoint them and I still was kind of confused with really what I wanted to do. So I was like, whatever, like, I guess I'll do this and see what happens. Then after it was just a one year program but it was a lot of hours and a lot of school in like a short period of time because there was either a two year program or a one year program so the one year program like had double the hours double the work right away when the two year program was a little bit a little bit at a time so anyways i ended up graduating i did good i made a lot of good friends there and it definitely did bring me a lot of confidence within myself so it's like never regret your past because it did shape you into where you are today. It was a part of your journey. You're meant to learn those lessons so you can help other people. <laughs> so it's like me explaining this story. It's like, I hope that I can teach you that it's okay to take time for yourself and to really like think what you want. But to maybe still balance and like still working towards something, but to follow that deep feeling within yourself and don't be afraid to go after it. Don't be afraid to go deeper within yourself and see what you truly want to do versus sticking to something that you know is there already and something that you know can happen for you because it's already visualized, you're already doing it. But there's something else that, if it's not fulfilling you, there's something else that can. And go after that. So anyways, like two years after doing hair, I was turning 20 and uh, yeah, I was turning 20 and uh, that's when I really started asking like, what is my purpose? What is my pur purpose? I believed in God, the universe, and I knew there was something meant for me. And this is when I just dropped everything and I started buying a bunch of spiritual books, a bunch of personal de development books, a bunch of uh, new things that can help me like plant medicine, different teas. Like I knew I wanted to heal myself and to figure out what this purpose was. And trust me, you have to take action. You have to align yourself to it. You have to change your frequency within yourself. Get out of the self-doubt. Get out of the self-judgment. And I know it's easier said than done. This took me like two years or like really a year to get clear on what it is. And it takes time. But trust me, you're going to be so happy that you started something and you started working towards something versus, versus just giving up. Um, so start. Start today. Start now asking yourself these questions if you don't feel fulfilled in your life right now because trust me, it's all within you. And if you ever do need guidance, I do have a mentorship, inter-guidance mentorship that I can help you through it. Um, but back to my story. So after I decided to leave, leave doing hair, I decided to move. So this is probably like six months after I started doing this healing stuff or like close to, yeah, about six months. And then I decided I'm gonna move to a different state. I'm from the US and I decided to move across the country to Colorado when I lived near Chicago. And that was the best choice I made because it's like something switched within me that day because I was in my own space. I wasn't influenced by any of my friends from my past from any, anything, my family, anything. No one was influencing my decisions. I deleted all social media and it was the best thing I made. It came to me my purpose was. And that's just a healer, a creativity person. <laughs> um, my purpose really is to help others discover the truth about themselves and to live their best life. And it makes me live my best life, it was great. But like taking a risk towards something like that is do it. We only live once. You don't want to regret anything. You want to live your life to the fullest and be fulfilled. You want to feel fulfilled every day. Don't let your thoughts, don't stay stuck on your thoughts. Really just take the first step and let the rest follow.
let the rest fall in place because once you take that first step towards the direction there's no going back and you got it you will succeed and your purpose will be right there once you take the first step to decide that you're heading that direction i hope this video helped you guys and please subscribe and like anything comment below like what other videos you would like to see this is really one of my first ones so i'm really excited to see where this channel goes and how it grows so it would mean the world to me if you support me in any way that you would like to and to follow along in this community and to really live your best life. I love you guys.